I don't even know what to say. Uh, my car was good early. I had it really freed up, and um, I could, you know, make speed through the middle there. Cannon going by me, I think, helped me kind of, you know, search around. And then I, I found the top in three and four pretty good, pretty early, and made some speed there. And um, yeah, I had my car probably too free, but it was just good enough to where I could, uh, you know, hammer the cushion right there off of four and and just get a good enough run down the front stretch to where. I had myself gap through one and two because I, I really wasn't that good in one and two all day and I felt like uh, I was just spinning down the back stretch and uh, I, th I thought that was my vulnerable spot and um, and then yeah once I seen Tanner's nose three or four times in three and four I knew uh, if I had even a slight mistake he'd have, he'd have went right by so then I kind of pulled down and as soon as I pulled that down to the bottom it was pretty pretty, pretty revered up and, and that was it you know I think if I waited even another lap, uh, you know, Tanner would be sitting here and, and I'd be in second. So right now I'm driving as, as good as I ever have. Um, you know, there was a few years there, major racing with Keith, I was, I was really on top of it. And I feel like the last year or two I've been okay. I just, you know, I just didn't put races together like I did today. I feel like um, today I, I ran a good race and um, my, car was, my car was good enough to win and I put myself in position and, and we did it. I tried. <laughs> I tried. I wasn't going to dump him because I didn't want to get him dumped and obviously wreck him and I didn't want to get sent to the back, you know, so I wasn't going to dump him, but I definitely, I got into the middle and, and caught a little bit of rubber, and I got a good run on him, and I definitely got in the back of him. I was trying to get him up off the bottom, and I could get underneath him, and I got close to him one time, and I just, I tried that one time, but I, I don't know. It's coming to the end, and like, if, if I had another shot at him, no offense, Logan, but I probably would have done it again, you know, but. I thought you'd do it more. I was surprised. <laughs> Come on, bro. I mean, I don't think you're gonna crash me. But I thought you'd try to. I thought you'd try to move me a no, little bit. No, but I, I don't know. I got a lot of respect for him. You know, he's. I've grown up with him. His family, and my family, have been together every weekend when we were growing carts and or racing carts and growing up. And um, you know, he's one of the biggest badasses in, in the motorsports. And you know, he hasn't been able to show it here in the last couple of years in a midget, but he is one of the best in, in midget racing. And you know, now that he's with Kevin in that car, and um, he just showed it. I don't even know yet. <laughs> I'll let you know tomorrow. Uh, for right now, it feels awesome. You know, I didn't, I didn't even, you know, set in until uh, until I got the driller and you know could talk to Kevin for a little bit. And uh, man, I just, uh, I'm just so happy to do it for Kevin. You know, he deserves it, and um, you know he'd probably have a lot more, um, you know, if it wasn't for uh, his accident. So um, yeah, like I said, it's just uh, means a lot to win this race in general, but to to win it in the 39 uh, in our first try is really really cool.